tell them we can hear each other. The webinar just can't hear they us. They can hear each other, just the webinar people can't hear. Okay. Um, test, test, test. No, test is not testing. Working. Your test, your test is not. I, mean, I just don't understand how all this would just change. Tyler's testies don't work. I can't okay, hear good. a thing, but that's because I don't have my earphones in. I got you guys a meter right now. I'm sure you do. I know how to run this. <laughs> I have, look, I, I promise you, if I studied this, I didn't want to come here. <laughs> Up here. Everything was literally outside of anything that's on this page. Steven Spielberg left, and we got Ray Charles running the audio. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, oh, no. No. He was just shaking his head with sunglasses. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. What's up, everybody? This is Tyler Harris with the Bread Winner Podcast, and I'm excited to have a special guest in here today. Um, actually, someone from my hometown, which is Greenville, South Carolina. So we've got Deanna Rogers here with us. Uh, for those of you that have not yet subscribed, please go to iTunes, where more than likely you're, likely you're listening to this right now, and make sure you hit subscribe and make sure uh, that you leave a review. That's super important. Uh, as we are ramping this podcast up and looking to get ranked here very soon. That's the biggest thing that you can do to help us. Uh, but brought in uh, Deanna Rogers today, and I can just uh, tell you just a little background. Like, we don't have a lot of context with one another, but what I have seen is over the last year, maybe 18 months, two years, that all of a sudden I went from like not seeing you ever to like seeing you everywhere, like Facebook, Instagram, just all the different things you're doing with your business, and then with your uh, the pageant that you did as yeah. well. And like, so she'll get into all that, um, but just someone that I love seeing people kind of really stepping into what seems like is what you're passionate about, but also stepping into um, a role where like, it seems like you're just having a lot of fun. Yeah. You don't really know what you believe in or what you're for until you're kind of hit adulthood and you go through different <laughs> experiences and so, I really got on this mission about wanting to help empower women and other people and make people feel good about themselves and um, it just became a priority to me to make sure I was a good leader because I didn't know at the time when we started running Classy Kids that you know I had a hundred women employees who were looking at me and I thought okay God's given me this voice and this platform that I wasn't intending for it to be like in this leadership role and I need to use it in a, in a great way. Tyler, what's going on? Man, thanks for joining me on the show today. Man, I am happy to be here, Ryan. Been a long time in the works hasn't it <laughs> it has it has i mean we're two busy guys and i guess that's what this is all about right <laughs> that's how it goes that's how it goes but i but i like i said i'm excited to have you on today um you know one thing i've always noticed about you since i started following you is your uh your commitment to being consistent and disciplined in what you're doing and that's where i want to start things off because I, I think it's very easy for guys to be good for a week or a month or potentially maybe even a year but i've always been impressed with your level of consistency where does that come from man so one thing that I think all my friends, family would say about me is that I'm just an all in kind of guy. And when I get on something, I don't really have any other mode but all in. And so when I decided to finally put myself out there, which took a long time to get to that point, 
Uh, but when I did finally decide to put myself out there on social media and to try to provide as much value as humanly possible, I just went all in on it. Well, hey man, we're, uh, we're bumping up against time here. I want to ask you a couple of additional questions. And I know we've been a little bit all over the place, but I think this is going to make a lot of sense for somebody who's trying to get into whether it's a social media world or, or running a business, starting a business, has an idea of something. I think this, this conversation is going to make a lot of sense. Uh, but that said, the first question I have for you is wind things down is what does it mean to be a man? I was about to say man, that's like my preface to it, but man, that is a, that's a great question. For me, going back to what I said earlier, a man is someone that has the ability to go all in, not only in all areas, but to be able to go all in on the area that they are focused on at that one second. So I get on this podcast, like the, my office right now is chaos. Like I have 12 different meetings today. I just got done recording one of my podcasts, but in this conversation, like I am all in on Ryan, 100%. As soon as we get off this, I am all in on the interview that I have with the guy coming in my office right now. And then I am all in when I leave my office today with my family at home. Like this weekend is going to be the most incredible weekend with my 18 month old uh, daughter because I will be all in and squeeze every ounce that I possibly can from those hours that I have with her. And to me, that is the ultimate version of a man that has the ability to do so many different things, but has the ability to make you feel like you are the only person in the world when they spend time with you. Powerful, man. I really like that. Well, how do we connect with you, learn more about what you're doing, and, uh, and, and see what you're up to? Absolutely. So everything is at Tyler Harris Page. So we can hear each other. The webinar just can't hear us. We can us. hear each other because the webinar people can't hear Look, and he tightened up. He's like got all tensed up. Son. Hey, Jason. <laughs> He's kidding. We're ready to bring the thunder. Y'all have never been so scared for so long of a time. Sit here. Two minutes of counting. I can't wait. TJ, I just want you to know that today it's all about you. Tyler Joseph. <laughs> 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 So much about you, we just changed your name into ours. <laughs> as long as you're alive, you'll either live to accomplish your own goals and dreams or be used as a resource to accomplish someone else's. And so when we're talking about work and I talk about being on and being off, when you're on, crush it. When I had a job that I worked eight or nine to four, eight to four, nine, nine to five, whatever, when I had a job like that and I... I literally never poured everything into it. I was never all the way on at my job. And when I got off work, I had a f***ing Blackberry in my hand. And my son would want to throw a ball with me or roll a ball with me at the time. He was like two, three years old. My daughters would want to play tea with me. And I would have a Blackberry in this hand and a little teacup in the other hand. Now, was I off? No. I was fawn. I was off and on. I was a fawn whatever you want to call it. That wasn't off or on. I was torn in between. And so now when you're looking at this system, we want you, we, we suggest books like this because we want you to succeed number one in whatever you do. If it's not this, man, get on down the road and do what makes you happy. Do what you can be massively successful at. Do what lights you alive when you wake up in the morning. What would your kids do if you bounded into their room and dove on their bed and, and just swept them up in your arms and you were fired up to be there with them and you didn't have a phone in one hand you weren't worried about what you were going to do to pay your bills because you already were on that week at work and now you're off and now you're on with your kid what would life be like if you lived like that if you lived at a high level in every area of your life what would it be like what would your relationships be like? What would your bank account look like? What would your what would your friends look like if you were a friend worthy of the name? What would it be like? What would it be like? That's my question. What would it be like if you lived 10x in every area of your life? What would it be like? 
what would it be like, man? What would it be like, riddle me this, if your mom or your dad had lived 10x with you in that relationship? What would it be like if your friends were 10x into your relationship? What would it be like if your mom or your dad had been 10x at work and created something substantial that, that you didn't have to fight and scrape like I did from the bottom or like Nathan did from the bottom? What would it, what it would have been like if you could have springboarded off of their massive success because they had learned how to be on and off? Huh? What would it be like? Man, I want y'all to have a good weekend and be off.